authority forecast. The weekend is here, friends, and I'm super excited. Taking a look at the Middle Sky Tower cameras. We are closing out the night. Here's what we are seeing. A little bit of some cloud cover, but we are seeing a little bit of some stars out. So we get a mixture of both the clouds to trap in the heat, but then the stars to show that it's really nice out. Take a look down below. Our driver conditions nice and clear. Now, the one thing you can't feel with the Middle Sky Tower cam is how cool we are getting in the area. Currently, we are sitting in our low 50s at 52 degrees and then our sunset happened at 624. Now humidity is sitting at 70% so it is feeling much warmer on the skin than we are used to around this time. Our winds are traveling south southeast 8 miles per hour. Now like I said it's feeling warmer on the skin and that's because in the past 24 hours we have warmed up in the Permian Basin area. We're 3 degrees warmer in Midland and Odessa. 1 degree warmer in Big Spring along with Snyder. In Seminole we're 2 degrees warmer. Hobbs we're sitting 4 degrees warmer along with in Wink and in Pecos, Carlsbad 5 degrees warmer. However, there are some areas that have cooled down down south in Marfa 9 degrees cooler. And then we have Presidio sitting three degrees cooler. Now the weekend is here, like I said. I'm excited to show you guys what we've got. Now for Saturday, we're gonna enjoy some temperatures in the 60s at 61 degrees. It's going to be mild and thin clouds. Then we get into Sunday, 75 degrees, and it is going to be sunny. So it is gonna be perfect out for any activity that you have planned, whether it's walking your dog, going on a run, or just enjoying the, you know, the morning. In the morning, we were sitting at 31 degrees. It's gonna be sunny. By noon, we're gonna be sitting at 51, warming up, and and then by 4 p.m., we are going to be sitting at exactly 60 degrees. It is going to be dry outside. Now, the one thing I'll talk about is the winds. It's going to be perfect enough for outdoor activity. So the one thing I will bring to your attention is how fast wind will be traveling around 1 p.m. when we're all out planning our activities. By the time it is 1 p.m., 13 miles per hour, Midland Odessa area, 12 miles per hour in Seminole, 17 miles per hour in Big Spring along with in Slatter. But we get even faster, 22 miles per hour in the Guadalupe Pass. Now, what I will say is going into Saturday, Really good, you know, very fast winds. Then we get into Sunday. That's when we do see winds calming down. Five miles per hour around 6 a.m. while many of us are getting ready for church. And then we're also going to continue to see that winds will continue to be calm as we make our way into the afternoon. Now here's what that will do and impact with the algae report. Our trees sitting at a low level, our weeds and our grass sitting little to none. But the one thing is going to be the dust. We are in an area where there's a lot of sand and dirt and that's going to be flying in the area while we are outside enjoying any activity we have planned. Tomorrow morning, we are going to be in our 30s for a sunny start. Winds will be traveling southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, the seven-day forecast is going to show that we are going to have some really great temperatures sitting at 61 degrees on Saturday, 75 comes Sunday. It is going to be mild. And then we get into Monday at 78. Madeline and Carson, it is just going to be very nice this weekend. We're so 78 I after know. the after not the week we've had, but the last couple days. It's well, going to yeah. be such a nice relief. We're Bridget. Talking yeah, did the thing. Double temperatures, Bridget. Yeah. You really did a nice job. Check. <laughs> She's like, I know. <laughs> I know. We I know. That, yes. <laughs> okay, real quick, want to give a big birthday shout out to our viewer Eddie. Happy birthday to you. Uh, we saw him out earlier tonight and had to give him the, the shout out there. Okay, yes. Well, oh, sock is the best. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we've all heard about sports betting, but what about taking your chances on the weather, placing bets on how much rain or snow a certain area will get? What? This is gaining popularity. Uh, one expert in sports policy says weather betting took off during the pandemic when most sporting events were shut down. While the U.S. has tough laws on betting, weather betting is not regulated. What, what do you think, Bridget? I think Bridget would be good at this. I think I'll be great. I don't bet, but if you guys want to take bets, just give me half. Can I help you? Okay, out? I was going to say. She'll if, give us the expertise, yeah. and then we'll, yeah. If you can give us an edge, That's I'll be it. putting money down that it won't be raining. Though. This is like a guarantee. Yeah, yes, right. yes, I got <laughs> you. I'm That's a weather too good expert. To be true. That's it. I'm hearing dollar signs already. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, All right, Bridget. we're in. Let's go to Kaylor.